before we begin mounting our antelope today, I do want to go over the tools and materials that we're going to be using. Of course, I'm going to use a drill to reattach our horns. I'll be using some high... The first thing that I like to do is go ahead and attach my horns to the mannequin. Now in doing so, I've got to do things a little bit different than I would with a deer. Uh, the mannequins for antelope, they actually leave... The stitch I'm going to use is called a baseball stitch, and they name it that because it's kind of the same way a baseball is sewn up. If you've ever seen that, it's kind of looped back and forth. Now I've taken my string and I've taken the two loose ends. Now the final thing that we've got to do to our ear is rebuild the ear butts, which is just simply replacing that tissue uh, and the muscle that uh, we removed at the base of the ears when we were caping out our antelope. Now the nice thing about this mannequin and most modern mannequins today that they've been designed with a preset eye socket and what that basically means is that the eye is already or the mannequin has already been designed so that this eye will sit in the proper position. So what we want to do, now I've gotten our V completely sewn up and we've still got to sew up the entire cape, but what we want to do first is we want to take an opportunity now to go ahead and set our ears in the proper position because we can pull our cape back. The place I like to start is in the eyes and what I'll try to do is just take the skin and I'm going to pull that inner eyelid out and that's the skin we're actually going to tuck between our clay and the glass eye. Now around the eyes what we want to do again is just bring out the natural color where we've lost a little bit of pigment from the skin where we've added a little epoxy. Uh, that brown epoxy we want to darken that up. We're going to slightly go around. 